welcome to qualifying for the Belgian GP. Welcome to all players and Alfa Romeo players as we set off on another F1 Clash event. So if you haven't seen already, qualifying strats were released yesterday and the four tracks that we've got in question are Spa with some rain chance. We've got Baku, Bahrain and Belgium again. So can we put in a solid performance in qualifying? Race number one to get it all underway with some potential rain. So here we go for race number one. Difficult, difficult track, especially if it rains, because the AI will tend to do a one stop. So hopefully, hopefully we can score and do okay. We're up against it. They've got Ocon P12. We've got Sonoda and Norris, and it is a wet race after all. So tuning is going to go on, and Norris has got pretty good tyre management as well. So... We're going to chance a 2 2 2, and we will have to maybe, if we've got a not a big gap, we'll have to do one of them, maybe a 1 3 2. And all the AI will be pitting lap 3. So that's what we've got to watch out for. We could do with Sonoda jumping to the inside. Good start by Sonoda. That's not too bad. P12, if he can keep that at the minute, he can. Norris, definitely probably going to be doing, look at that. Norris is completely stuck. But now finally does get away. So we're in this race. Norris has got good tyre management. So the chances are 2-2-2 two, two, two is on here because of the gap between the two drivers. We're going to try on the next lap to get a few cars as we are right behind George Russell. I wonder if we can send one up the inside of George here. And we can, P10, or P11 even. Maybe we're going to be P10 now as we make a move on the Aston Martin. Not quite. So we're going to service because it'll be easier to service now than it will. It'll be less time when we come to pit later. And we're going to just hold off. No, we can't hold off from Ocon. So we're still well out the back here. We get past Ocon again. A bit of to in and fro in there. And Norris... Trying to get past Sergeant. Can't do it, so we'll cut down. These two not in a bad position, and with the tuning boost, it's going to be a slightly quicker pit stop as well. So in will come. We'll be the only ones probably pitting as well. We're going to fall dramatically back. That's all right. No double stack indeed. Snowder comes back out. Uh, not ahead of our Alfa Romeo partner. Comes out Norris last. So we'll cut down. And what we'll do is we'll just bide our time here. We'll earn the power unit back up. Because it's going to be pretty hard to overtake through these sections anyway. See if we can get Sonoda past though. That'll be a good one. I don't think we're going to. We're not even close enough to get Joe. Or are we? No, we can get him. Take that is our answer to that one. So P3... Lap 3, P19. Now people start pitting. And you'll see Sonoda make some big jumps. Not really high though. Just going to... Oh, could have could have squeaked the Ferrari. Not quite. So, P11. And you can see why it's going to be hard work. Because we've still got to make one more pit stop in this race. And Sonoda's done well. He's got up into P5. We're pushing Norris now. Is there any more overtaking to be done? Sonoda's probably going to lose about 10 positions, maybe. Maybe not even that. As Norris comes down the straight. Slight straight, slight bend. But difficult track to do a two-stop on. But with the AI the way it is, it's so hard to score points. And look at that for a strategy. P8 for Yuki Sonoda. Norris is going to struggle. We knew that. But considering where he was when he was P20, P22, we've got a bit of a result. So what we got in front, it's going to be hard to make many more positions now. But we're just going to creep up the power unit where we can. Let's push there. See if we can just sneak one through here. 
I oh, thought we had him. Thought we had him, but we didn't. And now coming into that first corner, got to keep the Ferrari at bay, which we can do. Norris gets a place as well. And then we're about to boost this full steam. Norris down the straight from Eau Rouge. 38% on the power unit. So what points are we getting so far? 27 at a wet spa. That's not too bad. Very tough track. Don't think we're going to climb anymore either. We are trying. Rivals pushing with Ocon as well, but oh, we nearly got Ocon. Just run out of power unit. And it's P8 for Sonoda, so that 2 2 2 worked great. But Norris comes home P14. And it just shows how Belgium in the wet can be very tough, but we'll take the 28 points to begin with. So, for race two, we're at Baku, and we used a bit of a tyre management driver in race one with Norris, trying a few things different in this qualifying session. Now we're at Baku, it's a bit less tyre dependent, so we're moving to Fernando Alonso, level five as well. Qualifying is not the best, but his race start is good, and we've got a rain as well to begin with so huh, this could be another that the ai are going to do for free and it's three minutes so we are going to use some dries and we probably do want to last this out for potentially four laps but let's see how we go can Sonoda get a good start he gets pinned by our two alfa romeos and alonso with the race start at the minute as Sonoda comes along and gives him a push up the gearbox. And now we'll push through this middle stage. So we're going to get to dries and it's going to be after four laps. As we try and move forward. 14th, 15th. So we've got to split the strategy. We obviously can't keep the strategy the same as to what we have now. We're going to push Alonso still. Let's see if we can get a... Let's look at how solid Alfa Romeo are these days. Couldn't even get past. So we're going to... Hold with Sonoda if we can. Sonoda will probably do a 4 3. I'll probably still do a 3. Might have to be a 3 3 1 or 3 2 2 with Alonso. Depends how quick it goes to wet, uh, to dry. As Alonso looking at the Haas and the Alpine. And we take the Haas. Can we take the Alpine? Not quite. So Sonoda's looking good to get on the dries. But it might even be too wet still for that as we come down the straight. Probably going to lose a spot to Magnussen here because the AI always seems to be pretty quick down the straight. I think we're going to hold on. Yes, we are. So let's boost through this middle section. And it's going to be too wet. We're definitely going to have to go on to the wets. So let's do that now. Let's push with Alonso. It's going to be chaos in the pits at lap four as well. So we've only got a minute though until it starts to become dry. Maybe we can get both cars in here. I think avoid the chaos. We're going to have to double stack a little bit. It's only going to be a couple of seconds. Might be worth it. Might not be. And we're out. Sonoda coming out as well. Sonoda's got some good power unit left. He can push hard. And Alonso's going to be in a pretty good position. Because he's only right behind the pack. And Sonoda's right there as well now. So as long as we can conserve, and you see 30 seconds, it's going to go dry. But then it's going to start to get dry. So they might actually be able to peter this out to the end we might be able to do four laps it's going to be very tough very tough as Alonso gets P7 we're going to try let's try then <laughs> now it turns out to be a tyre dependent track if we're doing the 3-4 how quick is this going to dry out I'll take P7 and P9 now though I'll tell you that Can we hunt down this Red Bull? We can do four laps though. 
just. So that's not out of the question. Trying out now as well on track. But can we do a, maybe an extra lap? Nah, I think we need to stay on the wets really. I don't think it's going to dry quick enough. We can't really push with the tyre management. We're on 33 points. So we'll take that. Could be a lot better, of course. Let's try and get Alonso through. There we go, P7. Got a Sonoda right there as well. He is certainly drying out now, 40%. But no one's going to pit. There's just no point. And we're all good on tyres. We might be able to get one or two more positions. We're looking good. We're closing the gap as well. It's about to get dry. Can Sonoda? Here he comes. Oh, nearly gets Lewis Hamilton. We've got so much power unit, we just can't use it. Let's see if we can get Sonoda through. What's he got to lose? And there he is, P8. We're going to boost down the straight. It's going to be a very slow finish to the race. We can see the Red Bull ahead. It's not going to catch it. It's P7 and P8. A uh, wet to dry Baku. Very solid. 35 points as well. Race number three, Bahrain then. And it's going to be, hopefully, decent race. We've stuck with Alonso. Bit of overtaking. Bit of race start as well to really try and help us. And we're starting quite far back. And this is a team score which is better for us. But our qualifying stats are really pushing us back, which is interesting to see. Copper and Copper we're going to use. So it looks like we're on the back foot with some low qualifying stat drivers compared to the rest of the field. You can see Sainz and Ocon, P14-15, even though we're about 100 team score ahead of the rival, who is also one of Azadw F1 Paddock. So player two. He'll be glad to see himself in action, I'm sure. So P14, P16, and we're slowly making our way. Usually we would do a 3-3-2, but one of these drivers is going to have to split to a 2-3-3. And already, P10 for Sonoda. Alonso, P12, and Sonoda makes a good move into P9. Can we get Alonso through as well? Not quite. So that's a good start, though. We'll take that as Sonoda trying to go around the Aston Martin, can't get it done. So we've got a decent chance of some points. Don't want to push too hard. We get Alonso through into P8. Sorry, Sonoda, P8. And then P9. Oh, just loses that position. That's unlucky. We're going to come back for softs. And then we're going to have a middle stint where we boost our power unit as much as we can. We're going to push now just to try. And every little second that we can claw out is going to help hugely. And then he... Oh, now I forgot to pit him. Oh, no. This is this is terrible. I forgot to click pit, didn't I? Oh, no, team. We've ballsed this one up big time. We're going to have to push Sonoda. We're going to have to conserve on Alonso. Maybe both of these will do a 3-3-2 in the end. We're pushing hard to try and create the gap. And hopefully this doesn't come back to haunt. In we come with Sonoda. Alonso is just coming down the back straight. And I don't think we're going to double stack. We're not. We're safe. But, oh, we got held up by Gasly as well. Look at all these cars come past us. Bad mistake by me in Bahrain. That is what we didn't need. And now we've still got both drivers on the same strategy. Can we get past anyone to try and claw this back? I might even have to go to mediums with Alonso to try and split what we're doing. Ah, should have got more points here. We're in a good position. We've kind of wrecked it. There's a few come into the pits now as well. Only P18 for Alonso. So I think we'll do one more lap with Sonoda. I might bring Alonso in next. 
as Sonoda gets up to P12. And player two is going to love destroying me with his bot, that's for sure, if he does beat us. What we got pit stop wise? A few hard tyres. I think I might just try and stick this one out. We're not going to take any service in anyway. And we're back up to P9. I'm going to push now as well with Snowder. As Alonso can push. Let's push both. We'll have to waste some power unit. But we've kind of wasted the strategy anyway. For what it's worth. P8, P13. At the moment. As Sonoda now comes in. Alonso coming down as well. These shouldn't double stack either. So we might get away with it. Yes, we do. P12. That's all we've got. And P16. Oh, terrible. Can we get into P11? Recovery mission is well and truly underway. It's an Alpine in the way again. Not for much longer, though. And here's Alonso, just making ground steadily. And we'll conserve down the straight. And conserve again. We're going to make one more place. And then we can boost off. And that's going to be a frustrating start to this qualifying session. We would have been so much better if we concentrated and actually pit the drivers when we wanted to. But it looks like P10 and P12 it's going to be. Unless we can squeak any more out. I don't think we are. Sonoda comes home P9 in the end, gets the Alpine. Alonso in P12, a very disappointing Bahrain GP. And we'll have to just take 29 points in to the final race. So we move to race number four and it's back to Spa with no rain this time either. And we should know this strategy a bit better. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And we'll try and do it both with a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. But if not, we'll switch to a 1-3-2. Very tough track for a one-stop. So that's why we're doing two stops. We've just got to watch the stacking a bit later on. Street Shark and Street Shark will go on. So if we can do a 2-2-2 two, two, two with both, we shall. But remember, 2-2-1-3 two, two, means they both pit lap 4. That's the annoying part. And the annoying part is Sonoda with a great team sort of race start stat and doesn't get off the line very clear. But P11, P14 is where we sit. And we're going to try and make some moves on this opening lap. And this track just got a whole lot longer. Because out comes the safety car. And what do we do here? Do we pit? Do we go for mediums? Oh, I think so. I think it's worth the pain here. If we go round again, we're barely going to get another lap in. So I think taking the risk and doing this is going to be a lot, lot easier. So as they all come in, or well, they all carry on, I should say, let's see where we come out. P10 we were. We're going to lose at least probably seven or eight positions, I'd have thought. Should be a quick pit stop. Slight double stack as expected. So we were 10th. And we come out 13th. We were, what, 15th was it? Can't even remember. It was only 30 seconds ago as well. 13 and 17 as we go down to medium boost. So let's then hold out until the safety car comes in. And then let's pick this back up when we go racing again at the end of this lap. So here we go, we're about to get racing as the field start back up. Remember, P13, P17, and already P12 for Hamilton. Snowder's made a place as well on the restart. P11. Oh, look at that for a move by Snowder. 
and we are P11, P15. So we want another lap after this as well. We're going to try and get another lap. We should be able to, no problem at all. We should get a few people pit this lap as well. Can we get past? Pushing hard. Alpine, we finally got past an Alpine and we... Do we get the Aston Martin? No, we don't. So we have to cut back down. Still going to get one more lap in here. As we're going to boost through. Alonso, we do make amends. And look at that. Sonoda's not very far behind, is he? We're going to end up double stacking again here. Bad strategies today by me. Rough racing. But that's life. That's what happens. So we're going to come into the pits and go for softs. With both drivers. Can we get past Verstappen? What's he on? Hard tyres. Come on. Come on. Got to get past hard Verstappen. Easy. It's lagging as well. Safety cars brought some lag out by the look of it. And we still can't get past the hard tyres. And we're almost going to get overtaken by Lance Stroll. Poor, poor overtaking by Hamilton. Struggling to get past hards. As Hamilton then does come in the pits. Double stack time again. Just, I've been not with it today at all. Double stack all the time. And you can see now Hamilton coming back out. Can't get past the Alpine. It's all chaos. It's all laggy. And we're out P12, P15. Two laps to go. Still plenty to change. Still got a lot of hard tyres out there. We'll catch them up quick, but as you've already seen, we can't even overtake them. Got Gasly in front, Alonso in front of Sonoda. Definitely need to sharpen up these uh, skills, that's for sure. We're going to have a full lap of attack with Sonoda. Gasly goes round, we've pushed Hamilton now. Can we get the LP not the inside? No, we can't. And what tyres is Gasly on? Mediums. How can we not get their moves done? Annoyingly. Can we now get through? Come on. Holding us up big time. Can't overtake for the life of us here. Surely now inside run. No. Still stuck behind Gasly. Still stuck behind Gasly. Still stuck behind Gasly. Even Sonoda has got past Hamilton. Hamilton has just lost all his overtaking ability. If Sonoda gets past now, oh, we nearly did. And now Hamilton loses a spot as well. Oh, what a rough, rough round it has been indeed. P11, P13, Sonoda and Hamilton to finish off. Hamilton just couldn't overtake anyone. He's only got 70 overtaking. I wonder if that is the problem. The boost would have helped him a little bit, but he just can't get through. Hards and mediums and... I'm not a big fan of that round. Not many points scored compared to what we like to achieve. And let's see where that puts us. 118 points. What are you, one of my lowest showing in qualifying rounds so far. 28 points, 35, 29 and 26. Wet in Belgium, wet in Baku. And again, dry races to finish off. So not our luck, down the, mainly down to me. Some poor strategies, but we tested a few things as well. Hopefully we pick that up for opening and qualifying round and maybe even better on the free to play account.